this shit? Granddad! Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, after all the tech issues, tech issues, uh, I hope that we can finally get to play this now, but uh, we're going to be playing the Haunted PlayStation 1 Collection demo disc thing, 2021 edition. There was a lot of really cool games last year that I really enjoyed. One of my favorites was Sauna 2000 from Finland, and this time around, well, we have a whole new collection. So, uh, you know what? Fim says, dumb fuck doesn't even know how to stream, lul. You're absolutely right. I legitimately have no fucking idea how to do this. But, uh... Yeah. <laughs> no idea. It's like putting a monkey in a... in a 747. It just... banana. I don't know. <laughs> All right, but anyway, as I said, we're gonna be checking some of these games out, and uh, I'm also downloading Hitman 2 currently, but which just finished. Hopefully, my internet is now less crap. <laughs> that was a 60 gigabyte game, and the streaming at the same time was a bad experience. Let me tell you, if you caught earlier in the stream, you know why that was so bad. You know why. Why? Why was it bad, Joel? Oh, no reason, really. But uh, we're gonna be checking out the Haunted PlayStation 1 2021 version. Uh, it is one of my favorite games on the PlayStation 2. It's not comparable to Tekken, but... Uh... <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Not that kind of joke. No. I like how you guys have that spooky spaghetti on hand immediately. Uh, we want Tekken Seven. Okay, you want you want to know what I did today? I cut my beard with a with scissors, and it looks okay. Uh, I just like I, I don't know like I, I don't have a I don't have a good shaver, and I just went ch -ch 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 -ch, you know just to get like a good base trim and then like get the rest of it so. Uh, I mean, okay, well, all you guys are saying, like, well, how do you do it, then? How do you do it? How do you do it? Like a normal person. Okay, well, what does that imply? Mr. Mr. Fucking, uh, uh, I was gonna call you Mr. Facial, but I think that's a website already. Uh, <laughs> use a racer. Okay, oh, okay, well... I have I have caveman face, okay, and we have a lot of beard. You see a little like razor. It's not gonna cut it, man. Ha ha ha. You know. Uh, heat up a knife and apply the beard. That's a great idea. Hot hot beard, hot beard. Uh, you guys have seen those uh, thousand degree knife videos? Thousand degrees, sweet face. <laughs> okay. Uh, someone says, I am high as shit chat. Well, where are you watching the stream from? Sorry about this. For power ups, we have burgers. Yeah, what else could they be? They're fucking burgers. All right, but ladies and gentlemen, uh, without further ado, you have waited long enough. It is time to check out the Haunted PlayStation 1 Demo Disc Collection 2021. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Will there be a Sauna 2000 again, or will it be something else? That is the question of tonight. I thought it was like Thomas the Train Engine. Chub, 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 ba, na, na, bum, 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 
we go. All right, well, here we go. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, start and free play. I don't know what the difference in there, but... All right, here we go. Is the volume fine, by the way? Wait, it just starts? It just starts like this? All right, well... Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Free play lets you choose. Well, I don't know which game I'm playing here from the beginning. Maybe I should like go back and, and exit game. So I can just like... Oh, I love that. I love that. That's so awesome. Close the entire... No, I, like just, just the game that I'm playing, not the entirety of all of them. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Try that again. Joe, you're playing the main menu. Oh, oh, that was, that was the select screen, so it's... Oh. Okay, I had a feeling. Oh, but, I don't know. I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. I'm just scared, okay? I just... I'm pulling my pants. <laughs> okay. Alright. I'm getting, like, Silent Hill on LSD. Vibes from this? Okay, so this might be taking place in Europe. I recognize those peace signs. Oh. Maybe this collection has a has a extra secret game like uh, last time. That was really cool. Oh well, look at that. Uh, oh, that's the loading screen. Okay. Right. There he is! Welcome, friend. <laughs> okay. Uh, Welcome to the museum, your poor unfortunate soul. Yeah, we have exactly what you need. Haunting games, birthed from the cursed minds of your world. Lose yourself in them as they pierce your corneas and into the back of your skull. You may never leave this place, so make the best of it. Oh, what uh, what more fig? No smoking in the museum, and absolutely no uh, dumping in the museum. Don't, don't go getting your corpse germs all over everything. Okay. All right, you got it, buddy. Bye. Anybody else getting QT vibes from this? Well, I see something hi hanging from the ceiling, and I just want to like get my funny super hand out and go and like pierce through the ceiling. <laughs> okay. Well. Uh, oh, we have a lot to select from here, huh? I don't know who did the menu, but it's pretty damn nice. Okay. Well. I gotta say, having a menu that's a game itself, that is pretty wicked. Haunted Demo Disc 2000, launch, launcher team, here we go, it's, it was, it was Bri Bryce Butcher. Wait, right, no, it's Butcher. Butcher. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Damn it, I could have done the Simpsons route, you know? Okay. Hmm, there's a PC here. Enter password.
It didn't work. It didn't work. <sighs> okay, uh, well, uh, that's that. Let's go to, uh, the ground floor is this. So let's go to, uh, 1F. Okay, well, here we go. So we got... Well, let's read it from the... Oh, there's a lot of games. Look at this. Ghastly Goodies. We got... I was gonna say Friends Isle, but it's Fiend's Isle. The Chasing Static. We have Sandbox. The Lunar Effect. The Drowning Machine. Art... Art... Help? You know, maybe I can just do this. An outcry, okay. <laughs> Alright. Explosion of life in a doomed country under the wings of a vague menace? Okay. Risu. Okay, it is a story-driven survival horror adventure game. Risu Ishikawa must traverse, solve, and survive a hellish architectural maze of endless personal nightmares. That, that was me. That was me tonight, because I, I, I kept doing the Wham! song, you know? Still Ridge. An astral traveler navigates and dreams in the nightmares of the cities of Still Ridge. Uh... West Virginia, mountain town, with a sinister history. Okay. Bleeds demo. Driving down a lonely Colorado road in the dead of night, blood begins to drip from your car's AC as if it were a gaping wound. Luckily, there is a motel nearby. Okay. Huh. Well, there's also this. And this was, uh... It's Halloween, and that means candy. Play as Pete or Sarah and try to avoid the tricks as you gather some treats. Wait a minute, is, if, if this is just one floor, then, then then the rest must be... How many games is there here, man? This is like a ton. Holy shit, there's even more, man. Look at this. Okay, I'm, I'm drawn to this. Tori 3D. Traverse through oversaturated 3D platforms levels as Tori and see what surprises. Okay, that that that's amazing. The Salt Order, Loveland. This this has uh, a puppet vibe to it, so I'm not gonna go for that immediately. And what the hell is this? Demo for upcoming horror game from Japan. Okay, well I can't read that kanji, so. Uh, which gives chase? Wait, T mod. What? Curse Love Letter remake on classic G mod and the Half Life 2 modding scene with a poetry based sandbox exploration narrative hinting at some burrowing evil? What? Okay, th this we gotta try. The chameleon. Okay, a tense exploration game with stealth, super, with stealth superpowers set in the 70s. Okay. Apparently, a lot of people are recommending that I check out this game, by the way. But uh, all right. Well, let, let's 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 check out the other floors first. I want to see what what else we have here. But this is a, this is a big collection, man. It was nowhere near as big as, as last time in 2020. So okay, janitor bleeds. Oh, okay. Oh, but there's even more. There's even more, man. Look at this. Pathogen X. Or the, this the, the, did we play Pathogen last year? But it was like. A less elaborate version. It was like it didn't fit in because it was like it was just quake esque, but it was like yeah. Peeb. <laughs> what is what's Peeb? Peeb goes on a comedic adventure to escape the back code of his game being after of his game after being banished by mysterious entity. Will he succeed? Ah, it's just Peeb, you know. And then we got Apolysis. Apolysis. All right. Well, you know what? We're gonna go on the first floor here and and see uh, see what we got. All right. So many games here. This is crazy. All right. Well, you know, I kind of want to check out T mod because that sounded. Uh, was T mod was on the second floor actually? Okay.
All right, here we go. Does the game launch or does it open a new window? Oh, it's the same fucking thing. That is, or I think so at least. I don't know. Maybe it opens up a new. If these all games can be contained in one exe menu file, that would be super awesome. But we'll see. We'll see. Okay, does it open a new window? Launching game. Switch windows if you can read this. Okay, 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 okay. Well, we can't have it all. We can't have it all. <laughs> we can't have it all. Oh, fucking hell. What? Jesus Christ Almighty. Christ on the cross. Okay. That was... Uh, that gave me a heart attack. Alright, well, here's T-Mod. Uh, I guess we'll do single player. <laughs> Bogild. Bogild. <laughs> what? What? Bogild. Oh. Well, this is this is great. Okay, so it's, it's GM Construct. Except, yeah, it's ugly. At least you're back. If you, if you forgot to play it, simple. Open up the spawn with the Q key. Okay, so it's... It's just really ugly Gmod. Okay, so we got the physics gun. <laughs> this is very ugly. Okay. Oh, no, it, I mean, it works. It works. Look at this. This game should not give me these tools because, you know what? If, like, the Slender Man comes after me or whatever, I'm just gonna do like this and I'll... I'll... It's a little glitchy. Uh, so this is the cremator, actually. Did you guys see the screenshot for for uh, Gmod 2, by the way? I'm not sure how I feel about it, because... Uh, I know the physics are better or whatever, but, but the graphics is like, what? what? There was something... Uh, there was something... What game was uh, that? Was the SpongeBob game, right? It was like SpongeBob at 3 a.m. game, and the game gave gave me a gun, and has like flashbacks to that, you know. All right. Interesting. All right. Well, let's uh, head into the the dark room. I, I guess. Well. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> um. <laughs> Right. Uh-oh. <laughs> um. Alright, we, we have gone through there. Now we are traversing the void. <laughs> um. Okay. He's coming. Okay, you know, there was one thing that creeped me out. This wall looked like a man. Okay, um... Hey, who's been swimming in the, uh... In the pit? <laughs> okay, um... I don't know, uh... I don't know if I, I feel scared yet, uh... 
is it on? <laughs> what? Okay. Thr thruster. It's it's getting it's getting a little uh, a little goofy. Okay, how, how do I actually do it? Left click to place, right click to activate. Okay, so thrusters don't really do nothing, but uh. Okay, maybe they do. Maybe they do actually. Okay, so th there's a physics system here. Okay. <laughs> All right. I mean, it's a little creepy that he just shows up randomly, but uh, not sure what this is. But that's me. Wait. Huh? I guess that's me. All right. Let's put a light bulb here. Okay, and then can we scale things? A scale thing wasn't really a a thing in the original G mod actually. That's, that's a mod you have to download, but All right, spawner. Here we go. Oh, sp that's just a spawner. Create the last spawn thing with the prop cool. Okay, so let's see, put some wheels on this. It's it's a person that that there is actually a sort of a thing here. I mean, the game kind of works. But, uh, all right. Let's go check out the, uh, the funny room. What? Destroy, spawn, destroy. Uh. Don't worry, buddy. I'll give you a balloon. That'll make you feel better, you know? Make him really tiny. He got stick bug now. Oh, there's a... The, the, oh, okay. Okay, there's more to this. Well, uh, nothing like a good mace, you know what I mean? The physics are down here, it's a little funny. Oh, flat, uh, flat grass. That's, uh, that's a broken cloud on top of a hill. Such as this place, an, an end to strive for. Life to spawn it all to hell. Or maybe death to run away. Oh, this is a good lyrics, man. Okay, you know, I always found flat grass more creepy than, uh, than Construct anyway, but this is because it's just like vast emptiness. But flat grass doesn't look like this since, like... Like... I'm sorry? I just want to see how Logan's run. Um... You want to hold hands? Um... <laughs> okay. That was it. Ladies and gentlemen, that was it. That was T-Mod. Um... I liked that it was 
try to flesh, but I gotta say, I didn't get that PlayStation vibe from a game that's released a contemporary game, I guess, because I'm still playing Gmod sincerely, you know. Um, but I mean, it was cool, and I, I but it kind of failed on making the game creepy. It just kind of was a little goofy in a way. But I, I will say this: uh, there is legitimately scary, creepy stuff in regular Gmod that I think is actually more scary than a tribute to it. Oh, I missed a lot, apparently. I did. What did I miss? Saw another stream who did a whole different playthrough. There's infinite stuff in the game. I think it works more like a D-make than a horror place in one game. Yeah, kind of. So I had a cough there, but uh, yeah, I mean, if it's a sample of it, I I, I enjoyed it. I, I kind of want to see more. These are all demos, by the way, so they're meant to be fleshed out more later on. But I thought it was cool. I I liked it. You know, I thought it was pretty pretty unique. You know, Gmod getting a retro treatment that was pretty pretty legit. All right, the Salt Order. Okay, do you guys want to play Tori 3D? I'm sorry, but this just looks great. <laughs> I've got to play Tori, man. Okay. Got to go with Tori. Okay. Okay, uh, th this is... Th wait, I think this is the same creator behind, like, Noodle Shop ramen thing. I played a game last year that was, like, a ramen shop, and there was a guy running after you. And, uh, okay, well, before we do this, we need to actually go read the info about this game. Huh? Okay. Tori 3 is made by the same people that made that spooky ramen game. Okay. Alright, traverse through over... Go, to, go down, go down. Okay, how do I scroll down? I fry more info, okay. It opens up Twitter? Why? Okay. Um, traverse through over 3D platforms levels at Tori and see what if I... Well, that's pretty much it. Okay. Well. Here we go. You gotta get the stars, man. So, uh... So, uh, Toro. Okay. That's awesome, man. Well. Here we go. Oh, man, oh, man. Here we go once again. Okay, this is... <laughs> Guys, this doesn't feel very scary. But here we go. Tori 3D. The spookiest game on the collection. I'm pretty spooked. I, 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 oh my god. Press T for window mode. <gasps> I love this game. Every game on the planet should have this feature. Okay. You want me to love your game? Do this. Okay. Am I getting like Frogger vibes from this? Not, not Frogger. Uh. G G glob. No, what's his name? Croc! Croc! Hold X to shift to run. Oh, I kind of figured that out already. Okay, well, so far, this is my favorite game in the collection. I absolutely love it. It's like Bomberman 64. Almost. Alright. 
Yo, relax, Simple Flips. <laughs> oh, this is, this is fantastic, and I love it. Alright. Tori can't fly, but... You know what? There's these old... There's, well, not old, but there's these Japanese Sven co-op maps called Pizza Lacun and Daikon Warfare that me and Frank used to play. It reminds me a ton of this. If you play those levels, you know, kind of know what I'm talking about. Those are absolute crazy maps. Okay. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we, we, we gotta get all the stars. Well, I'm timed on this too, actually. Okay. Okay, this is gonna become a speedrun game. All right. Oh shit! Oh, okay. Oh, 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 I did it. Okay, so do we got some Mario sixty four? No. Okay. Oh, kind of, kind of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, I love this. This is this is legit, man. Oh, I missed the star. Oh, come on. Now I'll never get the funny secret ending. Damn it. <laughs> Messed it up. Messed it up, man. Alright. Not sure what the... I mean, the other game the developer did was not the, the scariest, but this one has, like, nothing to do with horror. I see a little bit, like, corruption-y stuff, but, uh... I don't know if, like... It fits? It's very nice, and I like it, but that looks can be deceiving. But, ironically, this is my favorite game so far. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. I guess the horror comes in event. <gasps> oh! I nearly fucked that up. C rank. All right. It legitimately almost is, is, is like a speed run. Oh fuck! Oh, oh I, I, I see what, what's going on. All right. Looks we're deceiving. So you can just cheese this, man. Look at that! That was so quick. Oh, don't do that! Oh fuck! Okay, okay. Soundtrack is pretty bopping too, I gotta say. Ooh, jump! Alright. Yeah, Tori 3D so far, man. The king. The king. Okay. Right. Damn it! I got splatted. <laughs> oh shit! It's like you—if it sees you and it detects you, it's coming closer. <laughs> yes, yes! Oh Jesus! Oh, oh God! Run! Run, go, go, man, go! <laughs> that, that is horrifying, actually. He's like, oh no! Okay, okay, I have to be, I have to be real, real fast with that. Okay, run, 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 run. He's, he's getting close, see? He's coming toward me, man! <laughs> Hell no! <laughs> leg it, leg it, leg it, leg it. He's enormous too. Okay. Yeah, this is great. This is actually fantastic. Okay, yeah, no, 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 thank you. No, thank you. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
<laughs> go, 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 go! <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh. And that's sound too. Okay. Ah! He's right behind me. Okay. Okay, no, he, he still detected me. Run, 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 run. All right. Okay. Yeah, it looks for quite kind of deceiving. Well, no. Select the character. Oh, this is this is more. Okay, so that was just a demo. And uh, this is the this is a game that I really want to play more. This is a legit game. Multiple characters, bopping stages, good stuff. It just released. It just released. Oh my god, I have to play it right now. It's only a dollar, man. Support this developer. Support this developer. I mean, come on. Your coffee your coffee is more expensive than this game. Support the dev. Come on. Come on. But that was great. Absolutely. Alright, anything else I missed? No, pretty much it, but that was great. That was great. I thoroughly enjoyed Tori. That was great. That was really good. I love how the, the game itself here, the menu, is integrated into the game. Like, very smooth. You know, it makes it all feel so connected. You know. You know what game engine is? Oh, I have no idea. Okay, well. Hmm, I don't know what I want to play next. Uh, any suggestions from you guys? Because a lot of people are saying, like, check this out. This game apparently is really, really good. Uh, this is the walk game, right? A demo for upcoming horror game from Japan. Alright, well, let's give it a try. Oh, we got to do peep after this. I miss these vending machines. Walk is more than one ending. Well, apparently, T Mod does as well, so. Alright, let's see here. Oh, this launch is directly in, in Window Mod. Oh. These developers, man. These developers know. <laughs> Good intro. Toy 3D is on the Switch. I'm buying that tonight. But no, I want to stream it too. What's so special about window mode? Uh, because window mode allows me to like not have my eyes uh, all across the screen. And it makes uh, like a more compressed version of, of my peripheral vision. And on top of that, some games, when I'm not using my second monitor, which I don't like to do, I get to read chat alongside the game. Alright. <laughs> also playing I'm playing this right now in complete uh a completely illuminated apartment and I'm gonna change that. Let me actually go shut the lights off because I'm not doing a service to myself if I'm playing this you know in, in, in complete uh like I mean, I can't find my phone. I can't find my phone. Hey, who took my phone? Who took my phone? Huh? Confess. Hey. God damn it. Where did I leave my phone? Did I leave my phone in the bathroom? Oh, fuck, what was that? I just walked on something horrible. 
don't know what it was though. Am I bleeding? No. I don't know what the fuck that was. What the hell was that? It's like some somebody like bit into my 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 my, my, my foot. I'm fine though, but who, who took my phone? Damn it! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's in my jacket. It was in my jacket. All right. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna shut off all the lights. Take in the atmosphere. All right. <clears throat> Alexa, set lights to sexy mode. Okay, would you like come lights? Yes. All right, shut, shut all my all my lights off. No, no, it's spooky and scary. Okay, here we go. Controls. Well, it's Wast, C, Enter, Space. Okay. Resident Evil! I mean, walk. Yo, hello, these graphics. Respect! Walk! What did you say? <laughs> Anybody else getting like tulip vibes from this? <laughs> I expect the jazz sound to be like <laughs> any moment now. Okay, well, I, I like the atmosphere here a lot. Mm -hmm. Graphics looks really cool, man. I, I like that. <laughs> 100 yen. Uh, quick, don't be seen. <laughs> like it? Like it. Get out of the screen? Where am I? No! No, <laughs> please! I wanna leave this fucking screen! Hide. Quick. Don't be seen. Okay, yeah, I'm. Uh, maybe he's gonna crouch. What if, I, what if I. Metal Gear this? Uh. <laughs> oh no! Oh hell no! Okay, I like the fact that I have no idea how to play this game. It makes it more anxious to actually play. Because I don't know how to, like, navigate properly. Great, great sound mixing. I love that. Okay. Let's get out of here now. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, so far this game, uh, horror aesthetically wise, is fantastic. Hello, hello, fish. Whoa, what? Well. 
The fish and I vibing around. He's gonna take me to the sky. <laughs> okay. Can I help the fish? No, I can't. Okay, uh, I miss this stuff in Japan. A lot. Oh, I can actually buy stuff. I think. No, I can't. So I need 200 yen to open that up, huh? Okay. Did I ever tell you... I, I, no, I have told you story, but I'll tell you again, because it's just conversational bullshit. Uh, but the first time I ever visited Japan, and I was at the Narita airport, and we had just landed. Um, Frank and I... As part of like the Japanese kids uh, and their school, with the teacher, they, they they go to the airport to interview people visiting Japan, you know, and they they asked us like, "Hey, what are you doing in Japan?" And I'm like, "Yeah, you know, hey, I'm just just arrived and stuff like that." But at the very end of it, it's like, do, "Should we take a picture together?" I'm like, o "Okay," <laughs> and. Uh, Somewhere out there in Tokyo, Japan, there's a school with me and Frank doing like the peace sign with a, with a bunch of kids and the teacher and like, hey, <laughs> wait, fuck, I told that story in the best of, not the best of video, but, but a J Japan trip 2017. I just felt bad because I was like so tired and I didn't want to be like, I don't know if this is the right thing, but you want to like... Let people down, so you're like, hey, 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 hello. Okay, I think we're supposed to go up here, actually. Where is that fish going? Am I going over there? He's on a mission. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, no. Oh, fuck, no. I, where is he? Where am I? Oh, he's there. Okay. We're leaving the screen, okay? We're leaving the screen. Oh, fuck. Oh, he's, he saw me. He saw me, I think. Okay, go this way. Okay, okay, there we go. He's not gonna come around the, the alley, is he? I can open this up, maybe? Okay, so we got there. I gotta, you gotta love these graphics, man. There, look at this. Oh, I found a yen. Okay, now I can buy that, that that vending machine thing, but I gotta still sneak by the guy. Okay, great soundtrack too, man. This is it's a very creepy game. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can I go through here? I may not. Okay. I'm hovering here here now, but kept going on the piano. Okay, am I going this way? No, I'm I'm like trapped here. I don't think that that vending machine dropped something and I need to like open up a door or something. No. <laughs> this game is fantastic because this is like the scariest thing. You have nightmares where you're just a little kid and your parents aren't around to help you. 
and it's just something chasing you, and everybody's- it, the entire city is just abandoned, and it's you and a thing. Okay, yeah. I, I still have, like, weird nightmares where, like, I'm still at least eight, nine years old, and, like, the, uh, the place I grew up with. And, like, at no point in my dream do I, does it make sense that, wait a minute, like, you know, I'm 20 years old, and... But I'm just like, I just, uh, you know. Oof. Okay. Can I go over here? No. Now, the, these graphics look so damn good. <laughs> that was my shadow. My shadow spooked me. I don't know if that's the smoke from him, or if it's just, like, the graphics in general. I need to get through here, but I don't know how to go get back. If he's not make a lot of noise. See that weird face coming towards me? Oh shit! Oh, hell, hell no! This is a bad hiding spot. <laughs> it is. <laughs> no. Go. Go! Oh, Jesus! Jesus Christ! Oh, God damn it, man! <sighs> oh, hell no, man. Ugh! Horrify, man. Fucking horrifying. It hears your footsteps. Move quietly. Man, fuck that. That is great. That's great horror, man. That slow lurching thing is coming towards you. Bruh. Well, this game is just awesome. Awesome, but I like the credit of 99. <laughs> All right, we have to try that again. Great effects, man. I don't know how they accomplished this. I won't say it looks like a PlayStation 1 game exactly, but it sure does... Deuce. It, it sure does look very, uh... Um... I don't know what, what the word would be, but, uh... Unique. And there's something with the... Uh, the low-res thing going on here, it makes the game very, uh... Eccentrically... Weird, and I like that. It's believable. I don't know. It's like photorealistic. Even though it's not. You know what I mean? Okay. Oh, fuck. No. Go, 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 go. I hate that noise. Okay. Okay. And I, you can't go this way. Blocked off. I think the, the, these might be actual graphics. Oh, pick up. That's the other one. Okay. That goes nowhere. Let's explore this area and see if I missed anything. Okay. Many oh. He's coming this way. 
I don't think he is. Surely I can do something here. Can I open this up? No. That's him. Oh, hell no. Well, let's just wait it out. Oh, he's walking here fast. It's a bad spot. Um. Okay. You know what I really like about this this monster is that he isn't you can't really see what it is. It's always like what is that? What the hell is that? And you never get a grasp of like oh that's what it looks like. It's just this like weird obscurity to it. You know, and that's scary cuz you're like what is that? What the fuck is it? You know. Alright, you know what? We're gonna be very careful how we do this. Mm -hmm. Okay. So far, I mean, I haven't played a lot of these, but... But this game definitely leaves an impact, you know? This is, this is really good. <laughs> Breath of the Wild, Lionel. <laughs> After making them, you should make a tier list. Yeah, that could be a good idea. We have to make sure that it doesn't like come around here because last time was in the alley that he started chasing us at. So, I don't like that shadow. That shadow it scares the shit out of me. And what a great like sound design here. Okay. This reminds me in a weird way of Sonic 2000, but Sonic 2000 was funny, but it was also like... Blasphemic as hell. Because when that guy started running towards you in the- Oh! No, no, no. No. <laughs> ah. Okay, we're just hiding out again. Uh, that's horrifying, man. I saw a chat comment here. Uh, Joel, I just want to. I just want to. I, I just want you to know that I can't tell you how many people time how many times people ask me what my scythe lord beanie says They always think it says Slytherin Tell them that Tell us Harry Potter Okay, I don't think he's gonna come around here I don't know how to get through like he's in that alley. He's always walking there now, but I don't know how to like get past that Fuck! 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 He's coming! <laughs> Hell no! <laughs> uh. 
I guess I have an idea. Guys, how about we start running now to get out of here? Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Run, run. Fuck you, leg it! Come on! <laughs> Okay. Okay, go, 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 go. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just sipping on anxiety juice right now, and it's... Uh, <clears throat> okay, bye-bye, fish. I have two... 200 yen. That gives me a key? I don't know where that key goes. Can I go here now? That's a dead end. That is a dead end. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So you said you can open up the car with the key? No. Can't do that. Okay. The gremlin. Okay. I guess it's too small. Can you up the go can you go up the stairs in the last screen? No, you can't. You can't. See, I don't want to take the risk and like go into the vending vending machine area because like if he comes around me, I can't Is he you gotta go in the red alleyway? I'm gonna sneak there. I'm gonna try sneaking there. And hopefully it's just not exactly in the red, red alleyway. Okay. Hey, you know, this game is great and all that, but where's the gun? You know, where's the rocket launcher? Not doing anything yet. Okay. Hell no. 
Go, go, go now. He knows I'm here now. He's gonna come around. He's pissed. Okay, okay. Somebody say you can open up the gate here. Oh, okay, you can. You can. Well, hide. I don't know where. Where am I? That's gotta be the end of the demo. That, that could that. I don't think that's a game over. I think that's intentional death. Okay. Nope. Okay. <clears throat> you can just YouTube what you missed. Let's do, let's do that because I I wanna I wanna retain the horror of this. I don't wanna get annoyed at this game, and then uh, you know what I mean. All right, you're currently hearing the background noise of the, the uh, you're hearing the background noise of the actual uh, game menu. It's not like crap. Uh, all right. Anyway, let's let's skip to where what, what ending I got. The ending I got was this. Okay, you know what? You know what happened? You know what? I was chasing this alley, and I thought I came like. I was supposed to run towards the screen, because I thought that was, like, the gate, and behind me was the alley, so I was like, whoa, but it's, no, you're meant to, like, run away. Okay, that's confusing. Okay, I, I, I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay, that, that was... <laughs> Alright, let's pretend this is my, my gameplay, <laughs> but it's not. It, this is H.E.O. themselves on, on YouTube. I love that shadow, man. Pretend you're playing right now, Joel. Okay. Whoa, gamers. That was a close one. That was a real Vark Skeletor gaming moment right there. We did it, team. You and I. We did, we did it, gamer family. That was epic. Epic for the win. Video games. Like and subscribe. And don't forget to like on MySpace Gaming. Alright. I love I love when music and stuff goes slightly out of tune. Don't go in that house apparently. You know what's a good motivator in video game design? When death screens or uh, getting hurt in a video game kind of feels it, it it's painful somehow. I don't know why, but Mario, when he gets hurt, goes bleep. That little bleep sound makes you go like, Ugh! you know. And the same in Goldeneye, I was thinking about this. When, when Bond gets shot, it's like, it's like sharp and you're like, ah, you know. So that's the bad ending. That's the bad ending. Alright. Alright, and this is the good one. I really like the monsters. It's just this weird crow man. Okay. Here we go. Here's the good one. Oh shit, what the hell? Go back. So bad he dies in the game while watching someone else play it. <clears throat> I'm sorry. You know, I said this game, I hope it, it doesn't get predictable. Yeah, this game has that shit on lockdown.
Oh, what, what, what a great soundtrack. This is still a demo, but it's still like impressive as hell. And I, I gotta say, this is a this is a very solid game. Man, that 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 note, that little th those two notes. I'm not sure if it's like a like a G sharp to an A or something, but man, it's. Really good, really good. Uh, oh. <laughs> this took a really random route at the very end here, but. The what now? Huh? Is this Earthbound now? Ascend! You must get the, the rune sword! And you must defeat the evil! Okay, uh... Jesus Christ! <laughs> this feels like it should be the end of the game. I, this shouldn't be showcased in a demo, but I, I, I... You know, the creator can do whatever. But this really feels like the, the very, very last stretch of the game. Uh, well, and oh, okay. Did he swear and finish? <laughs> Is this related to Sauna 2000? What? What? You motherfucker. You motherfucker. I know why this game is so great. <sighs> well, I guess the developer Sona 2000 uh, worked with a Japanese developer and made a really, really good game. Actually, I think that might be the secret ending. I think... I'm not sure if that is <laughs> legit, but all right, so that's ending two, but that that's quite something. Uh, wow, that was something, all right. Um, yeah, I, I guess the 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 Finnish developer and the Japanese developer like combined forces to create that. It, I mean, it's great, but personally, if I can be super completely honest. This game shines the most when it isn't. Like, no, don't do that. 
do, however, keep the atmosphere and the creepy vibe of slowly going with weird angles. That's scary. It's not... No. So, that ending could work, but that's the very, very final thing in the game. Uh, so, they showed it really early, but... hey. Anyway, that's that's not the full game, obviously, but extremely, extremely creepy game, and I, I really like that. When he was chasing you and you didn't know where to go, that fear of the unknown and the fact you didn't really see the monster, top stuff. Very, very nice. Just creepy alleys at night, and the f like just being isolated, and especially being like a kid without your parents around, it, it strikes like a, a scary chord, you know? I, I like this game. Very, very promising, man. I, I, uh, I thought that was very nice. Very nice, man. I really like that. Really like that game, man. Great atmosphere. For me, horror is all atmosphere. It's all atmosphere for me because it's not jump scares or anything like that. For me, atmosphere is the foundation of fear uh, because it's the fear of the unknown. It's the scary things that make you creeped out at night because you go take a pee in the middle of the night and you're like, ooh, I played a really scary game. It's like... A, a, a monster with a machete, they go and you're dead constantly. Eventually, this becomes annoying. But this game, it just creeped you out, you know, creeped you out. So, uh, yeah, absolutely. But anyway, uh, that's that. Uh, we have more games we're going to be checking out. So, uh, this droning noise you've been listening to, <laughs> this droning noise uh, has been the game's menu, or, yeah, the main menu of the game. And now we are going to go back and listen to it once again. Now that was a vending machine you've been actually hearing, the, the low hum. Sauna 2000 got a new demo. Well, I, th I honestly think that Sauna 2000 was was the greatest game. Was the greatest game um, in the last collection, so, uh, you know. That was that noise, by the way. It wasn't just my microphone being... Uh, a racer microphone? No, 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 no. But yeah, favorite game so far, definitely Walk. Happy you guys recommended that to me, because that was legit. Loved it. Excellent game. Oh, it even shows that you completed it. That's awesome. Okay, that's very nice. Let's check out another... What was this? Loveland? Loveland. Take on the role of the detective as you d delve into a world of murder, kidnapping, and other atrocities. All at the behest of frogs. What? <coughs> Alright. Well. Uh, let's check out the other floor here. Floor one, actually. Okay. Oh yeah, Peeb! We have to check out Peeb! Okay. <laughs> Here's Peeb. Peeb goes on a comedic adventure to escape the back code of his game after being banished by a mysterious entity. Will he succeed? We gotta check out Peeb. We have to check out Peeb. It's Donkey Kong 64 aesthetics? Oh my. I like a lot. You can collect banana too? Oh. I guess these are the developers? Okay, this soundtrack, collecting banana, and a game called Peeb with this man in it. This might just be a new candidate for my favorite. Now, Walk was a scary game, but, I mean, wowie. If this game runs in window mode, it doesn't do that immediately, but that, that's fine. Peeb Adventure, here we go.
If this game immediately ran in window mode, I would have been like, this is it. This is it, man. Yeah. All right. Peep Adventure. Press space to start. Options. Graphics. Full screen. <laughs> yes, man. Yes, man. Now we're talking. <laughs> what? There's Peep. Okay. Th this game is great. Wait a minute. What? He has nose physics. Pob, hey Pib, you should come over here and talk to me. Pob, hey there Pib, I'm glad you've come to help us out. You can use a grappling hook on anything you find, just press, just hold left click to shoot it out. You should try it on the, uh, those magic floating orbs I had and see if you can make it to the castle. Okay. Okay, I know maybe this is not super fitting and it looks can be deceiving, but I mean, guys, this is just, oh, his nose or I'm Spider-Man, Peeb is Spider-Man, guys. Talk to me, and I'll tell you about saving your game. Hi, Peeb. At you. That lamppost will give you a checkpoint if you go near it. Peeb. And if you ever get, if you get even closer, you can interact to save your game. I do it, but I'm too scared. Sniff. Okay. Monkey King, Peeb, you have two bananas. Please feed me with, with, <laughs> with E. <laughs> Great work, Peeb. Only 998 more to go. Fuck, this game is... Ble oh. Let's see if we got the Donkey Kong 64 monkey noises. Okay, uh... This game is... <coughs> happy as fu that Dude, okay. Legit! And... The, okay, what? I love this game. Hello. You have one banana. Oh, man, this game is so good. This game is so good. Okay, and, and and the and the game is full of secrets and stuff. Okay, and the the gameplay aesthetics themselves are pretty. What? I have a lot of bananas now. You have no, 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 bananas. Please feed me with E. <laughs> no, not the monkey. Hey, welcome back to my mukbang. Can I jump down into the, the monkey zone? No, okay. Okay, can I go through these? Error portal 2 is inactive, okay. What the fuck? Oh, the, the... Alright, I guess we're going inside. Wow, this is... Sure is a game. Orbo. Oh, sorry, I was sleeping with my eyes open. Hello. I think I'm supposed to stop you from going further into the castle. Now, I don't really care, but go ahead, I guess. I'll see you around. Okay, see, these developers are like... They're hitting all the things I like in a game. It's got this really weird humor to it. It's got Donkey Kong 64 aesthetics. It's secret collecting, and it's also like, what's happening? Graphics are good, and the gameplay is actually PlayStation 1-esque, you know, even though it's mute mouse and keyboard. But... I guess Har Harry Potter for PlayStation. Well, PC. Press P. P. Boner. Oh. Just keeps getting better, man. Boner. 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 
Oh, you hold it up and well. Wow, this is just fantastic, isn't it? All right, well. Or right, this D-Wiz. Okay. There's something about like... Oh, shit. Oh, what's this? No, 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 no. Game saved, okay. There's something about the Donkey Kong 64 soundtrack that just makes me so happy. I can... Okay, this is a bad spot. Actually, it isn't. You know what this reminds me about a little bit? You guys remember the game 40 Winks? The Mario 64 killer? Move over, Nintendo. Reminds me a little bit of that. Pusley. Wait a minute. Alright, so... This should be... I'm guessing here. Wait a minute, that card! Okay, so this should be... If I pull that up there... And this 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 funny triang triangle man should be over here, maybe. <laughs> there we go, and then we have a plus sign. Here. It's even got the Donkey Kong 64 uh, door sound, man. What are you trying to do to me, game? You're, you're, you're providing humor that I like? While providing nostalgia stuff? Like, come on, man. Don't, don't, don't get my hopes... Don't get my hopes up, because usually I'm not excited for anything. And you have a game like this? My heart will break. Can I just not just do this instead? Oh, okay. Okay, we, we have to be careful. Whoop! Okay. Peeb survives another day. <laughs> so this game is apparently full of secrets. I like that. I'm trying to see if, like, I, is something I can get or miss, or... Alright. There goes Peeb. Alright. We even got keys, everybody. We even have keys. Okay, well... Stink Zone. Not Inspector Gadget, different. Oh, shit! <laughs> How long can Peep hold on for? Infinite? Alright. Oh, pff, did it anyway, man. Legit. Alright. <laughs> well. Okay. Shit, man! I'm so glad I saved there. Oh, minus health. Uh, okay. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Relax. Little, little scurry that it's minus, but... Alright. You guys enjoy my portal streams? We're about to go back and do that again. Okay, peep, 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 die. <laughs> oh, fuck. How? But, oh, Jesus. 
Well, uh, can I just not just hug the wall as I'm doing this? Oh, fuck. Okay. Maybe they use the ceiling. The ceiling works. That, that works. Did a lot of deaths there, but... Didn't need to. Whoa! Fuck! Alright. Yo, P, watch out. <laughs> okay. P, run. Like it, P. Okay, I still have enough time to do this. Yeah. Bleh. Run, 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 run. Alright, got the green key. Orbo. Oh, sorry, I was distracted. Yeah, I've just been waiting here for you. Anyway, you can now grapple that Orbocopter TM to get back to the entrance. It'll lock your grapple in, so make sure you've got everything sorted. Unless you want to go back through the entire gauntlet to get here. Anything I missed? <laughs> boner. 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 Well. You should have gone behind the crusher, really? Fuck. I didn't see any point of out. There's a secret room behind the first spike trap. So both behind the crusher and a spike trap. Boner. Let's do the blue one. Apparently there's a secret here too, so... Okay. Check it out now. You need to go to the blue first anyway to get the secret. Okay, okay, that's fine. This really has elements of croc to it. It really does emulate like a emulate. It gets a style of a PlayStation game. Pretty damn, pretty damn close. Okay. Wait a minute. How do I? Oh, I see. Okay. Nice. Croc did not have a boner button. I'm pretty sure it did. No, wait, that was cock, not croc. Fuck, I'm sorry. Boner. Alright. Let's go, babe, later! Alright. So there's a secret in this, this area, there's a secret? Right, let me see if I can figure out where. It's this room. It's not very subtle. Oh yeah. So it's kind of like my streams. So this is the Animal Crossing <laughs> sounding, sounding one. Okay. Oh, so I can't use my 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 funny powers. Oh yes, I can. Yes, I can. Hey, what's that down there? Okay, uh, I'm in a bit of a position here. I used the inertia to, like, get up, I think. Okay, I guess, th is this the secret? Right here? Hello, cat. Me, I'm, oh, oh, no, it's, a. Uh, Hello, friend. Do you do anything, or...? <laughs> you wanna... You wanna touch? Penis. Ah. Boner. Boner. 
boner, 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 boner. Was that the secret? Was that it? Of this whole level? No. <laughs> that was apparently not the secret. Boner. <laughs> I don't think I don't think that uh the boner button will ever grow old. Wait a minute, I think I see the secret in fact. That's it. Is it? Oh. Boner. There is hole to nowhere can be opened with red key in green world. Understand? No, I only understand. Boner. Alright, can I even get out here? Yes, I can, but I'm I'm dying. Do I lose the key if I do this? No, no, no. Okay, that's based. Boner, boner, boner. <laughs> um This game is fantastic and legit. Like, wow, this is this is I, I won't even say this really falls from the PlayStation aesthetic that much. It just feels like I'm playing a really fun platform game. You know, like, like there's, there's no element of, yeah, I get it, but it's just good, <laughs> you know? All right, here we go. And here we go. I would honestly go out on a limb and say this. This feels less PlayStation and more N64. <laughs> like, I don't know, man. Like, Gex. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, well, I, I'm loving it so far. Alright. Hey, what's up, Orbo? Oh god, it's you! Welcome to the peak of this mountain. Up ahead is a locking set, a carrier. It'll force your grappler grapple to stay on it until you reach your destination. Essentially, there's no going back. At least not on, not unless you want to be ascend to the entire mountain again. Boner. All right. And here we go. Boner. Very nice developers, like, they, they, they knew what the fuck they were doing, you know? They're kind of, sort of, taking the piss out of this stuff, as well. Like, I, I can, I can pick up on the, uh, almost passive sarcasm, in a way. Like, it's both a tribute and a bit of a parody, like, it, it's, it's... Something is, it's a little... Some, something with the aesthetic is, is, you know, I guess it's all the, uh, Boner. stuff, but really... If you heard about Yo Noid, it's the same developer, actually. Is that the one with, like, uh, Miku? But it's like, uh... It's, a, it's an old man, or something? Okay, so there's a, there's a hidden thing I can get here. Okay, so apparently it's behind... Maybe I, maybe I jump down? That game is a dabbing button, doesn't it? That's what I remember. Okay, so... It's behind this crusher. I see it. Well, hello. But what did that do? Something opened. Something has opened. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, come on now. Maybe maybe the other crusher opened up or something. Oh, fuck! I hate that. It's like Mega Man logic. You touch the side of a spike and you die. Okay. 
Run, 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 run. Okay. What's that? What is that? <laughs> Eleven deaths. Okay. Wait, hang on, hang on. We saw something in chat. I am the Yolinoi developer. Also, please stop walking and hold down right click for 15 seconds. I have something special for you. O oh, okay. <laughs> what? Interesting. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Well, interesting that the developer or whatever would show up, but... Okay, so hold down. Right click. Okay. You are in my secret hole. Welcome. You tampered too much and received God's judgment. Kiss. <laughs> Man, th this is great stuff. This is not the secret thing, by the way. This is like a super secret or something. Right, watch out, peep. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Oh, something's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen. <laughs> oh, God. Peep Adventures. Press to start. Play. The world has changed, everybody. The world has changed. All right, but that was fucked. <laughs> what? Guys, what is that? It's like a face. I thought it was a heart, but. What is that? I think it's developer, but I'm, I'm not sure, but... Okay, um... Ah! Well, I hope that if I, do, if I, if I die enough, the game is like, yeah, you can't really progress at this point. The end. Alright. Alright, well, here we go again. Whoa! Alright. It's Germa. So it's behind this crusher, the the second one that I've opened up. Okay. Yeah. Run, 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 run. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about that. I'm sorry. Okay. Unlock it. We are serious, it was Jerma. Uh huh. Alright. Oh, shit, where is it? You're gonna have to pull the first one again? Oh, okay. Gotcha. We might as well just go back. <laughs> we might as well just go back. They did, they did not draw out a little butt on this character, though. Huh? Okay. So you have to do this on one life. You can't fuck it up. Gotcha. I won't fuck it up. Because as you know, I have mad bragging rights how much of a gamer I am. And stuff. 
Am I timed on this? No, right? Oh, it's because you restarted the level. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, well, now we can just do this normally, I guess. God damn it. Super secret level devil developer fucked it up. Oh. You know, it, it's fine, it's fine. It's still activated, so... <laughs> you, you keep getting pulped. That's not German, he's got glasses on. <laughs> Stop telling me these things. Wait a minute. Oh, it's here. It wasn't, it was not behind the, uh, the crusher actually. Well, Boner. here we go. This demo is pretty long, by the way. Oh. Ah, yes. Wait, what the hell is this? Marble Madness? What did, well, no, no, no. What, what is this? Oh, dude, I can't, I can't be dealing with this kind of stuff. I once ate a labyrinth a ball as a kid. True story, it was like, you gotta tilt the little ball instead of the little mace thing. I I opened it up and I ate the ball. I'm like, you did what? This metal little ball? Well, this is actually easier than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, it's all about being careful, so... <sighs> Alright, here we go. Whew, that explains a lot. Hey. Don't say that. Alright, but well, this got weird and strange. Can I go in here? Nope. Go to church. What? <laughs> the end. I guess we're gonna continue. Alright, I guess we gotta beat it normally now. While we... <laughs> it sure is something, I'll tell you that. It sure is something. Bad end. I guess if you maybe activate the that ending, something else happens. I don't know, but here we go. <clears throat> Man, that soundtrack. That that. What is that? It's not a xylophone. It's it's. It, I think it is a xylophone. It's a xylophone, right? Marimba. Yeah, a, a xylophone is more liked. Nice to see you again, little man. This hallway leads up to the Monkey King's throne room. Well, at least it was the Monkey King's throne room until you killed him. Anyhow, I don't really recommend going in there right now. This is freaky kind of guy hogging the throne to himself. And he's probably going to go nuts if you interrupt him. It's going to be a con conquer reference or something. All right. Man, I love the atmosphere of this game. I mean, it's completely different from the other atmosphere of the game, but... But... The Serper, alright. So you finally chosen to show up. Come up to your precious monkey king, get the throne back, huh? Listen here, pipsqueak, the crown's, the crown's mine now, I got you. Now don't perform a ground panel, I'll be really cross. Prepare to die.
I'm not sure you managed to get in here. <laughs> I thought I locked the castle door really well, but I guess it doesn't matter. This world has been abandoned and I have taken up myself to rebuild it. Block by block, brick by brick, audio source by audio source. I know you're an obstacle for me, but I don't hate you. You can't help yourself. You are programmed to get my crown and return it to the Monkey King. I'm not do in doing that, we're to start the game, my progress will be erased. I can destroy you without destroying the game, so I'm left with no choice. Don't take this personally, I just want freedom. Goodbye, peeb. Huh. Well. <laughs> okay. I like it. You're going to Brazil. Thank you, based peeb. You've done it now. Now we're in this cool checkerboard place. You can go on ahead. I'm just gonna go stand here. Okay. Game saved. Oh, I got all these crystals and stuff. Alright, well. Hope this game gets to become a full game so it's not just nothing, you know? Alright. Like, this really deserves it. Don't abandon it now. Rolling Star is unavailable. Oh, well, look at that. <laughs> then we got... Super P-Belt is unavailable. Uh-huh. What else do we have? Darkness Bectus is unavailable. First, the Crystals of... Gringle. Wait. Wait a minute. Oh my. No, this, this this isn't what I think it is, is it? No. What? No, that, that can't, what? No. No, 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 I don't, I don't believe that. It's just coins the crystals of Gringle RPG. No way. No way. No, 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 no. I don't I don't think it's a it's a reference to bullshit I've done. No, 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 no. No. Dev said it is. What? Uh, what? Boner. That's that's amazing. Well, uh uh, well, this just confirms that this game was made for me. <laughs> it's got Donkey Kong 64, it's got this sophisticated humor. Boner. And it's got great music, it's got gameplay alike, and it feels like a old game from like 96, so, uh... Or well, 98, I would say more so, but... Okay, well... Uh, <sighs> Christos of Gringle. Wait, what reference am I not getting? Um, back when I did Bob Ross Mario Paint, there's a highlight video on the main channel, and I mentioned that the Bob Ross paintings that I did in, in Mario Paint look a lot like an old DOS point-and-click adventure game, and I mentioned, like, this 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 game looks like the Christos of Great Gingledoof, you know, Bilbo, Frodo, you know, and that became some sort of, like, minor meme over the, uh, over the years, and somehow that is reference confirmed in this which is like fucking crazy <laughs> you know what is the fifth portal um uh, are you talking about this that's the darkness portal can i just look behind perhaps which one haven't i seen yet because this, this is the racing one this was uh this was uh, rolling star this is the super peep out the orange one. Oh, but that was... We saw that one. Alright, well, let's go in here. Is that it? I think that's it. 
created by John Ellis. Who's responsible for this? Huh? B ben Drury and Kirkus? These guys know their shit. Peeps Design, Kirkus, Monkey Model, Timothy the Salian. Q&A Consulting. Wow, this is, this is good. This is good. Darius, that's the guy! Fuck you guys for saying it's Germa. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Alright. Special thanks to the Haunt the Pleasure Morning community. And of course... The Peeb. End of the Haunted Place in one demo. Hope you enjoyed it. Game's official font is National Park Regular by <laughs> Credit the Font. Yeah, you gotta do that too, I guess. But man, that is that is legit. I did not expect a reference to me in this. I mean, it's a very subtle one, and I, I much prefer to be uh, referenced in that regard, but I couldn't believe that. That was that was crazy. That was crazy. But yeah, Pe Peeb's, Peeb's adventure here. This was, this was a very, very... The full game is out, by the way. What? Give me a hot second. Peeves Adventure. Where? <laughs> Can I, does anybody have a link? For some reason, I, I googled Peeps Adventure, and I got nothing but, like, uh, Adventure Time stuff. <laughs> what? This mu music is... Okay. There's also a streamer uh, on Twitch that's called Peeps. Um, and he's trapped in a jar right now. Uh, help, Peebs. Please think of Peebs. He is stuck. And he's playing every SNES game. I don't know when this was, but yes, that's a screenshot. What? Right, I'm trying to look, look for this. I can't find a link. Hang on, Let, let's see if the... if I can go back here. Let me do this. Haunt the demo. Alright. Let's go back here and see, see the website at least. Alright, and it says, uh, people go on an adventure. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, John Ellis, Kirkus, Ben Drury. I'm just gonna Google Bren, Ben Ben Drury and John Ellis because like I, I'm not getting any Google. I guess it just just came out. Uh, would link it, but the mods would would eat the link. No, no, you you can link the link. Um, I see all the deleted links. They used to get grayed out for me. You guys can't see them, but I I see the links. Here we go. Peeps Adventure. Here we go. Peep goes on a comedic adventure. Uh, get the game now. Get it on itch.io. Fuck it. Here we go. Uh, download an adventure. Peep goes on an adventure. Okay. Wait. Wait. This is the demo.
Oh, it's the game is not out. It's one guy. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, awesome fucking game. Awesome fucking game. I I didn't see the character because it was so like weird, but uh, that's pretty cool, man. That's uh, that's legit. I, I really like this game, man. The, the music, especially, and everything. But yeah, this was a uh, this was a treat. This was a treat, man. I really like that. Really, really like that. All right. Well. Uh, we got that, we played Team Mod, and we played Walk. I'm gonna dedicate one more game in this stream to, uh... To one more game. Okay, uh... Any... any recommendations? Oh wait, the, 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 the developer's here, actually, in chat. And it's Fever Dream Johnny. Uh, Fever Dream Johnny's in chat, and apparently that is the developer. Um, if I can find Fever Dream Johnny. Fever Dream Johnny, alright. Let's see here, uh... Uh, here we go, here's a link to the game. I am here, I'm right here, glad you liked it, it's a demo right now. I'm still working on it for people asking. Well, here's what I say, um, you know, I, I can't wait to play more of that. But I, I, I hope you uh, you developers, this is like asking a wizard for like things because they can just like whip up something. But uh, uh, for me, I was going to say, uh, keep surprising the player, retain this style of humor and don't make it stale. Like I know you can only do so much when you have a one game plan in mind, but I would say as long as there's variety in this game, I will play it for hours you know so uh super legit game really enjoyed it really really enjoyed it uh keep it up i have not played um the yonoid game but i might, might might have to do that after playing that because i was really blown away by the, by the music and you know maybe i'm a little bit biased because the, the gingle do forever was in there but the music the gameplay and the humor itself like it was great stuff really so i'm i'm glad I'm really glad I got to play that, and I'm very happy that, I mean, here's, here's the weird fucking thing, right? I am a nobody. Like, I, I I am just some random fucking jackass on the internet, you know? And having developers show up at my doorstep is infathomable for me. Like, what? What? You know? What? Um, I don't know, man, but, uh, I mean, I appreciate the hell out of you guys, but, damn, it just blows me away. Because, like, one, I'm not funny. Two, I don't give good video game commentary. And three, it's just, like, technical issues constantly. It's just like, wow, I don't deserve this, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Fucking hell. But, all right, no, once again, thanks for showing up. And thanks for creating a game here that was uh, something I, uh, I was really blown away by. All right, but anyway, we have one more game here that I want to play. Okay, <clears throat> and that will be uh, the chameleon is really nice. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure what I want to dedicate the last. You know, it's kind of funny seeing this nice, awesome. Like, it makes me want to dream, man. It makes me want to dream. You know? This is maybe it's a far stretch and whatever, but I, I realize like. Anyone can make a fucking video game, you know. It's just like, this is going to be a really fucked analogy, but video game developing for me has always been like a complete unattainable thing. And to be like, all of us in chat, and we can create a video game. Like, we can just make this kind of stuff. Not to detract from the fact that these games are amazing, but I'm saying like, this is accessible to do. You know, like, playing the Peeb game, I'm realizing, like, six, seven people worked on it, but, you know, I guess if it's, co you commit to something. Oh, wait, that, you know, that's shattered like glass, because I'm realizing, wait a minute, I'm lazy, I can't commit to anything. Let's go to 2F. <laughs> How about this? All 6,000 people right now in chat, we create a game together, all right? We make a game, and every single viewer, 
author was in a suggestion on what the next thing to do is. It's really gonna be good. Okay, anyway. So a lot of people I'm saying the chameleon is pretty good, but uh... Let's see here. Uh, a tense exploration game with stealth superpowers set in the 70s. In the 70s? That could be something. A lot of people saying chameleon is really good. Guys, I kind of want to like press P and have boner, but... Alright, chameleon it is. Twitch play stool. Well, you know, that, that's been going on for 10 fucking years because, uh, you know what, I don't read the tutorial and I say, guys, how do I play the game? So you've, you've been playing me for 10 years, you know. I think about it. Guys, guys, the game doesn't explain what to do! Press the P button to open up the thing. Alright, well. Launching game. Dog. Merlino Gomes. All right, well, this is going to be a little interesting, I guess. Graphic style, 94 or 2001. It makes me a little, like, weirded out that some people are born after the year 2000. Those people are 21 years old, but... <laughs> uh, it's like, what? 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 You know... <clears throat> anyway... Graphic style, 2001 or 9... Well, the, the aesthetic is 94, so might as well, you know. But anyway... Guess we'll check it out. Hello, I'm Dr. F, Chief of Night Research. Welcome to the orientation film for... Uh. As a member of the LRS, you will be expected to keep everything you see and hear confidential. The facility mm. has been set up to conduct science experiments for the benefit of mankind. During your stay, you will be studying the native flow. We hope that your research is productive and helps us lead humanity into a new era of peace. The Age of Aquarius. You will enjoy mm. all the comforts and enemies you expect from a state-of-the-art facility like the LRS. We even hope you can join us for Taco Tuesday at our mm. restaurant on the roof. Its quality is unheard of. Yo, fuck cilantro on tacos, now, man. let me introduce you to the Global Unified Advanced Research Defense System, or Guard System. Our trusty guards are here to protect you from the roof. We have set up the guards to make sure you... <laughs> Civil War in chat. They will not attack humans. Ah. Uh. We have the LRS and our science team. Thank you. And good luck. Cilantro makes for a good looking garnish, but it doesn't make for a very tasty meal when you're actually eating it. Aesthetically, it's good. But when you're actually doing it, you're like... <coughs> ah, yeah, okay. I look like Carl from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Hey, meat man! Hey, from man! I don't need no instructions to know how to rock. All right. Hello. Also, somebody said that my microphone sounds different. Well, what do you mean that as in it's better or worse? Because a lot of start the start of stream we had to switch out some audio stuff, but. Um, Good, both. One guy. Didn't even notice it. S slightly lower volume than before. Okay, okay, okay. Doesn't sound bad or nothing. No, okay. Wait, I mean, this is, this is a problem now. What, what, what are we talking about? It sounds doesn't... 
Different, different, sounds bad, different. Sounds fine, Joel. The other one here are different. It sounds the same, it sounds the same, it sounds the same. Genuinely sounds fine. Okay, well, let's move on, but that bothers me. Alright, crouch. All right. Oh shit. Stealth games. My specialty. Is it gonna be a puppet combo game? All right. Do I do anything here? Energy. What noises? What is this now? You have found a new power. Press space to transform into a guard. All right. Interesting. Need to interact, okay. Generator room open. <laughs> All right, if you insist. No. Well, well. Hmm. Yo, you're imposter. Oh, I got that snoozy. Is that what you mean? Okay. <clears throat> you quit that. Let's see, that's a map. Here is the map! Okay. Joel, go back. Joel, go back. What did I miss? You might have missed something in the only corner you did not look in. Well, I was I was here before. Well, that won't really do anything to me. But... You missed an energy in the beginning. Oh, one energy? Is that really gonna matter? Really? All right, I'll do it for you, chat. This is gonna get epic, guys. Nope. <clears throat> chit, 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 chit. All right, let's see here. Guard system, we see everything. He's got nipples. Bop, 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 bop. All right, that was really epic. Well, let's go back and play the game. All right, let's see here. I gotta avoid this. Where is he? Probably best that I don't. Oh, there he is. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I look like Magnum PI actually. I always think so. I always think of those old Tourette's guy videos and um, when Magnum PI comes on and he's got like this big like he's holding with with oven mitts some like a dish and it's smoking hot and Magnum PI comes and he goes shit. I might, I might have just combined two of those skits together, I, I'm not sure. Is he 
Is that Tommy Versetti's cousin? Johnny Versetti. No, it's, uh... <laughs> I was gonna say, uh... I don't know who it looks like, but he's got a really flat ass. Hank Hill ass. Okay, we got some rats. Z to attract enemies? No, 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 no. That was like the opposite of what I wanted. Actually, managed to sneak by that. Wait, that's. Oh fuck no. Okay. Where's the other guy? That's right. Oh no. Okay. Hello, it's me. Oh. Okay. Blorp, blorp, blorp. Paul Blorp, mock up. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Am I going the right way? You can punch him? Wrong way, okay. Yeah, I don't know about this one. Uh, I... think it's okay, I guess. We all have different tastes, and this one is just okay. You watch out. We are playing something similar to this, actually, uh, which is Hitman 2. Okay, we did have a thing we can, like, throw a rat or something. Okay, we're good. Here we go. So the, I don't know what the disguise... Like, I can use it for a split second, but it just, like... I don't get how to use it. I, I don't... Like, you, you have energy that comes back. You can disguise yourself for like a quarter of a second, like two frames. Like I don't understand. I need more energy. Okay. Okay, that's warehouse door. It's open. See if we can get some energy here, maybe. Big area, man. Hey, hey, hey. Nice. Are they going to come out of the, the bathroom? Receive reports of several warehouse employees organizing against our scientist community. Remember that by signing your contract, you've agreed to and to participate and help in all experiments. No matter what. If you don't agree with the research b being done at the LRS, you are welcome to resign. Rumors for employee termination being literal terminations are re greatly exaggerated. The LRS will not tolerate any insurrection, rebellion, or anything that can be put important work we do here at Brisk. Okay. Well, I quit. Also, you want to know something that I, I personally would want games to do more, just to, like, fuck with the player? Because horror is all about, like, the unexpected, right? Yeah. Um, that's why Eternal Darkness and stuff like that really fascinates me. How about this? You read something like this, and it just activates a a variable or, like, a timer in the game that you start reading, and it's a long re read. But there's an enemy that spawns in the alley, and he slowly, like, walks to you like this, and you don't realize he's doing that. And then you're like, blah, 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 blah. And something like, oh, Jesus, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's some game design for you. Yeah. Okay. Selling used tape player, mint condition. Okay. Lekudi tribe. Okay. I heard Dr. F does car commercials in Japan. Okay. <laughs> the Martini Police and Dog. You should always put your dog in a video game. That's awesome. Weekly. Uh, meet Arthur and Cole. Two tennis prodig prodigies. Is that how you spell prodigy? I thought it was prodigy. I guess it's plural. Playing singles together. Oh, okay. 
Guards have been cat act guards have been acting strange around Dr. F. That guy has always been weird with his stupid shirts, but the guards are unstable now around him. Might be dangerous. Protege, not prodigy. Uh Isn't the Prodigy uh, the guys that made Peppa Bitch a I'm a fire starter! Yeah, that's Prodigy. Anything else here that I missed? Well, we went in here, so. Yeah, okay, let's go back. Go back to the doggy. Alright. Oh, hell. Due to the nature of top secret experience and. Uh, oh, secret experiments and the unstable status of the Lunites, all measures have been put in place to prevent a possible. See, I'm confused too. Tom Selleck. In the case that one of our test subjects escapes, the whole station will go into evacuation mode and security guards will be deployed. During this emergency, every person must leave this premises before the last transport leaves. It is imperative <laughs> that the test subject does not escape the station. Okay, I, I gotta level with you guys. If I was making this game, I don't wanna critique it because I haven't finished it, but if there's one thing I really wanna stress, if you're making a PlayStation game from 97 and it's got a horror aesthetic, the voice actor needs to be completely terrible. In the laboratory, the new genetic virus escaped. You have to get the five keys to in order to make humanity survive. Yeah. The life cycle. The voice acting in Metal Gear Solid is great, though. Huh? But yeah, but fuck it, just just run. Just kidding. Okay. Shit. Do I gotta open up the door again? What's happening? Who's been banging on the fucking crates? I probably gotta open up. What is that noise, man? Oh, hello. Must want to punch, okay. Okay. I thought it was more like a execution animation, but alright. Yeah, it's hit bar, all right. <laughs> and okay. What was that song we talked about just now? Black my bitch up. The moon is behind it all. Escape the warehouse. Okay. Soundtrack. Oh, 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 hell.
Wait, what happened? The energy just died? Okay. Oh, I can't squeeze into the gap now. Watch out. Alright. Watch out for the rat. Oh, nice. Oh, we can't open that up yet, huh? I guess if we just go out of the exit like normal people. Careful now. I don't think this is open though. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Escape Jeff Bezos warehouse, everybody. <laughs> Good joke. Well, let's try that again. We probably gotta go this way instead. Alright, so now we gotta go in here instead. Alright, not a problem. Not a problem. Not a problem, man. Oh, is that energy? No. Okay. No, oh, just just a friend, just a funny friend, you know. <laughs> All right. Just a friend. What the fuck? Well, that worked out in my favor. <laughs> All right. He's pissed, but he can't get down. Okay, well, that, that'll be to my advantage, for sure. Angry, angry, angry. <laughs> He's just standing there menacingly. Okay. This is the way I came from, isn't it? Okay, speedrun stat. Okay, I gotta say something with this game. The constant bop, 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 bop. It's actually like giving me a headache. Okay. Oh shit. Alright, here we go. I'm not sure where I'm going exactly, but. Shit. Don't mind me, don't mind me. He's just a funny friend. Okay. Did I mention that stealth is not my favorite genre of video games? And that's exactly why we're playing Hitman after this. You have abilities, you should use them. Oh, you mean my, my, my disguise? You can punch him. I'll try that. Uh, here's the problem with this game, in my opinion. There's no horror in this. It's a stealth game, and there's a thrilling feeling, but this doesn't scare you at all. It's more so just tense feeling, which is... Kind of, you know, but then again, you could make the same argument about, you know, the other games, because they were all in a different flavor, but I feel this one is just sci-fi stealth, you know. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what hap happens next to this game. Oh, shit. 
Oh, hey, well, okay, that. <laughs> okay. Well, well. It sure is a video game. It sure is an adventure in the minds, in the mind of Magnum P.I. In my opinion, the best stealth games are the st games that are not actual stealth games, and they're more so like, if you want to play the game like that, you may. It's not so much like, this entire base of this game is to have like, a butthole feeling of like, oh god, you know. <laughs> Like I like I like stealth when it's more incorporated into the gameplay rather than like that's the entirety of the game or rather like the thief games, the theme games is one of those games that like yeah you could you could stealth around constantly but you can also be violent if you want you know but you know I'm 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 just making excuses because I can't play this game right. see here. Someone, someone take Dr. F massive order of lunit food into his lab. I don't want to be near that place. It gives me the creeps. Bramon creep. I'm a widow. Bramon creep. Hey, does Tom York still have that eye lacy eye? <laughs> yeah. Bramon Krip. I like I like Tom York. I'm I'm kind of glad that he. Uh... No, I, it it wasn't a condescending question. I was ac asking more so out of like. Some people get their things fixed or whatever, but I guess Tom York doesn't give a fuck about it. But if there's one thing that kind of, in a way, I, I didn't like about Tom York is that they refused to play Creep for like 20 years. Um, until they basically said, fuck it. <laughs> Based your kid. This is like a huge area to get to. Oh no. <laughs> Slapped, man. Boom. All right. Oh, got some more energy now. It's not Lacey Eye. He got fucked up by a botched surgery. Oh, really? That's awful, man. But that's that's why I asked. I was wondering, like, does he still have that? I'm talking about a random musician's eye eye problem. One of the most random conversations we've ever had. It's got nothing to do with what's going on in screen. All right. That's a lot of uh, funny cigarette. Joel, how much brain? Joel, how much RAM does my brain have? I read that. How much brain does my RAM have? Okay, this game just became way easier now that I can just, like, destroy my enemies. Yeah, but, but the way I answer that question, I think I think you know the answer. Alright, we got a new ability here. Bramon Grip.
Okay, I can... Uh, I can do that now. Neat. How much video memory does does my eyes have, Joel? <laughs> well, you know, the, the human eye can't see, like, more than 10 FPS. So... I mean, I don't understand why, why these video game developers keep, you know, <laughs> insisting that it's important. I mean, my can't. Right. Install new eyes, you dum dum. Anything to do with eyeballs freaks me out. If you want to talk horror. And this is like, I guess it's insensitive to people who has had eye surgery or whatever, but you guys have like monumental balls because if I had a, if I had to have laser surgery or if you're like, your eyeball is bloop, you know, at the eye doctor and it's like, okay, right, here comes the scalpel. I'd be like, here's what you want. Here's, here's what you do. You bonk me in the head with the biggest hammer you have. And I, I don't care about the brain damage as long as I'm knocked out. And then I wake up and be like, okay, good. I guess I think fire in the sky traumatized me a little bit. Okay, we gotta find this terminal that uh, that uh, that I need to do. Beep 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 beep. Actually, in Cyberpunk, they change your eyes out. I need special eyes. I am there, and I need to go to the advanced skirmish, so I gotta go boop, okay. So, just follow this, and keep on going in this direction. Watch out for that rat. This game does get better the more you play it, I would say. I was a little bit on the fence about it initially, but... But, uh, yeah, it's, it's getting better, at least. Yeah, somebody said in chat. Hang on. Uh, I had eye surgery in first grade when where they removed my eyes from their sockets temporarily. Well, now I know you guys in chat right now are going, "Oh my God!" Well, just just remember this. Whatever ailment you felt today, maybe you stubbed your toe or whatever it is, you know, let's, you know. Just know that someone in chat had their eyeball poop, temporarily. Just remember that. It was to fix the muscles behind my eyes. Okay. <laughs> Do you have any nerves back there? Did they tickle it? And be like, you feel this? Well, I'm fine. I, I don't think you do. Okay, that's the wrong way. Okay, well. Speaking of eyeballs, uh, as, a, as, a, as a child, I... <laughs> I actually wore glasses until my eyes just fixed themselves. In fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you a really embarrassing medical problem that I had as a kid. My tear canal was broken. I, I cried all the time for no reason, and people were like, Oh, what's what's wrong, man? Like, what? what? And I'm like, no, sorry, I have my tear canals fucked, so I... Like, tears came out of my eyes constantly. Until one day, it just got better. It just fixed itself. And on top of that, I wore glasses as a kid. Because, like... Then I just got better. Like... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, tear ducts, okay. That's what it's called. Yeah, m mine was like broken or something. This happened when I was like seven, so... Uh... You know, I'm just gonna go up and sma smash him in the head. <laughs> okay. I've said this many times before, but for me, horror is at its best when the enemies are undefeatable. 
The fact is that I can now f solve my problems by smacking them so hard in the head that they just like. Bleh! I don't know if that's like that's a good thing. But for the context of this, I mean, I'm fine with it. But but I would say it it really detracts from the horror from it, you know. Not much, but it's honest work. Hey, what do you for a living? Oh, I slap robots. I don't think it was meant to be horror. At all. And then we uh, do this. <laughs> Cyber flies. All right, now we just wait for this guy. Okay. That's a lot of trash. That's a lot of fish. Okay. Blam. It's not horror if you can kill enemies in one hit. Well, again, a lot of people point out this is not a horror game. Um, and I guess the creator behind this, they uh, they wanted to include it because, like, well, I'm making a PlayStation One esque game anyway. I mean, it's slightly horror related, so yeah. I don't have any problems with it, but uh, I, I gotta say, I, you know, out of all the games I play tonight, this is my least favorite. Okay, I don't mind the game, or I don't think it's bad, but it's definitely not something I would. Think like, oh, I can't wait to play the whole thing. But I'm glad that all these games are here for, to sample. It's like trying out a Chinese buffet, and you're like, you know, I like that stuff. I'm not, not super on that. And you find your, you find your favorites, you know. He hates it. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Fud. Thrillers can be scary. Oh, you know, one of the scariest movies ever is Mystery. And Mystery is not like a horror movie. It's more a thriller, but... Alright, now we just gotta sneak past here. And, you know, I wonder if I can do this. Uh, I can just run, actually. Oh, I can't, I can't no-clip through. Uh, Alright, come on. Work around. Alright, yeah, yeah. It's a pretty long demo, though. Okay, advanced storage. Welcome, gamer. Uh, I'm gonna be showing off my new RGB light room. So, of course, my new setup. Corsair RGB. Uh, chilled fans. Uh, check it out. It is good that I'm playing this game in darkness. Okay, so we have to get over there. Can I... Yeah, I guess that works out. Thanks for playing! Okay. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. No problem. Um, again, least favorite of the collection, I would say. Uh, mainly because stealth is not my... 4K, but uh, I, I I thought it was a solid game, and I'm sure the people that are a fan of this specific type of gameplay will find a lot of enjoyment into this. It's, but it's not really a horror game. You know, I'm, I'm, I shouldn't be the one to critique a game because you know I don't know anything about it. But but I definitely think that uh, this game uh, doesn't really super belong in the in the. I mean, with you had the the uh, the game we played at the start to to to. Tobias, the, the bird, uh, you know, and I guess Peep isn't really a horror game either, but I'm saying so, both of those games have elements of there's something ominous going on in the background. Uh, what I mean with that is that Tori, Tori, sorry, Tori had this, the world is coming apart feel 
an ambiance to it where like something's behind me man run fucking run and that was like oh fuck i'm getting engaged and you know peeb is a funny game but there was also like the world is falling apart and it has this like weird atmosphere of isolating more at stake than just it being funny you know and I felt this game was very much straightforward and just kind of like, watch out for the robots. In fact, you know what this game kind of reminds me of? A remake of Berserk for Atari 2600. I just need to fight Evil Auto too, you know. But, uh... But I, I enjoyed it. It was, it was a fine game. It was a fine game. But, uh, yeah. You, you guys think we should do one more after that? I really liked... I, once again, the main menu thing and stuff, having incorporating every single game into its main menu is fantastic. It really binds it all together. Like, regardless of what, if you like the game or not, it feels like nothing is haphazardly thrown together. It's like it, it feels connected. And that is that is that is fantastic. Okay. All right, well, that, that was Chameleon. Uh, we played Team Mod. Uh, this, this is a fantastic game. Fantastic game. Lorne Slur. Okay, th this looks like puppet combo shit. What is this? An android is led through a vast structure by a glitch in his, in his visual system. Lawrence Lure is an atmosphere narrative, first-person platform with the novel climbing mechanics and modernized retro 3D graphics. Yeah. Platformer with novel climbing mechanics. I... Yeah. I don't know if I... Because I want to, you know, I want to be scared. I want to, I want to... I want to... Something like this. I'll remember this fucking game. Because it, 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 it spooked me, you know. I'll... I'll I'll be like, tomorrow, it's like, you know, 2 a.m. I wake up and I hear like a creak in the hallway. I'll be like, uh... You know. Alright. Uh Tori. Fantastic. Okay, is it is this gonna be a, a reading game? The Hailwald Clinicum Clinic Clinicum once had a reputation of being the one of the most reliable medical facilities in Germany. That all changed when that weird loophole appeared. Alright. You guys think this is a good one? If you have a fear of heights, it might scare you. No, ah, uh, yeah, sure. Change floors. All right. Well, I like the fact that there's so so much to pick from. I I really like that, and I, the fact that it's all incorporated too. That is that is legit. I like that. I'm kind of sad that puppet co puppet combo did not enter in for this um, game jam or whatever. I would have loved a new game that was just like nuclear baby in the 1950s underground bunker fucked up experiment the nuclear baby comes out and it's just like baby with chainsaw for arms giant and the entire game is just you reading a bunch of like journal entries in the bunker from all these dead scientists until you see a giant glass tube is broken and it's like, and like, oh god, my ears. And then you hear like the baby going, coo, coo, ca, ca. and eventually you run down a hallway and boo, boo, boo. I can make these puppet combo games in my head before I even play them. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, lunar effect. What's this? Lunar Effect takes his protagonist on a dark and unfamiliar path. Awakening in a strange mansion, he must discover the fate of his inhibitants, inhibitants and find a way out. A lunar Effect. This looks... This looks... Uh, something. Huh? We have... Wait, what's this? Mummy Sandbox? This looks fucked up. What is this? Become the mummy you always wanted to be. Oh, okay. Rebuild your body as you dig through forgotten sandboxes. Puzzles and voxels await in this bizarre Minecraft meets point and click adventure. So 
Sorry, not in the mood for that. Not in the mood for that. Maybe some other day. What bleeds demo? The still ridge. Risu. What's this? Risu is a story-driven survival horror adventure game. Risu Ishikawa must traverse, solve, and survive a hellish architectural maze of endless personal nightmares. Th this could be scary. This looks. This looks okay. You know. Quinn from Glass made an outcry in this pack. Really? Exploration of doomed country under the wings of a vague menace. How about this? Because I'm getting kind of at the end of this. Uh, we can do it uh, at some other point, but right now I... Uh, I, I just want to play like beep boop the game. Hello, I'm, I'm the spooky robot. <laughs> you know. Also, somebody said that, uh, honestly, you might not like it. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Janitor Bleeds. What's this? Enter an abandoned amusement arcade when the events of a cursed arcade game... Enter an abandoned amusement arcade when the events of a cursed arcade game starts bleeding into the real world. Will you keep playing? Hey! Hey! That'd be fun. That'd be fun. This is this one is kind of neat. It's tense. Let's do it. It's record Ralph. All right. I like it. All right, here we go. Does this game run? Uh, oh, I can alt enter in it. Okay, well, hey, wait a minute. Is this video settings resolution full screen? Yes, windowed. Thank you so much. Okay, here we go. For some reason, this became unwindowed now. All right, there we go. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Because friendship is all we got. Hey, hey, hey. You and me. Now we're going to play a game. What is this song? I don't know. But it rhymes with Dong Donkey Kong. Hey, hey, hey. I can't get the game to run. What the hell? This game sure does smell. Okay, yeah. All right. Here we go. Janitor Bleeds. The legend. Missing local, only the car found. A local man has gone missing. He was last seen as he was exiting the town bar a couple of days ago. His car recently located on a forest road. Miles away from any habitation. So far, the search has been inconclusive. The police are desperate for any information about the case. Look, the disappear the disappeared man isn't the only lone driver gone missing in the area. There have been multiple reports of people disappearing along the very same forest roads, never to be seen again. Okay. Mm. Okay. And I'm not going to say anything, but I just have had some like traumatic um, experiences in the past where you play something like this, there's some good atmosphere, and then suddenly Siren Head pops out, and it... Let's rock! 
But let's not be judgmental and reactionary here. Let's actually play and commit to this and see where it develops. Objective kill the motherfucker. Damn. I'm gonna open up a can of whoop ass on you. You can you think you can steal our, our babes and get away with it? Fuck no. My name is Cock Suckum. And I've got a lot of dick to swallow. Chick chick. Suck his dick! No! My moon crystal power is disappearing! No! Don't use your funny lips to extract my boy milk! Okay, there we go. Uh... I can't read that. Her Herman's Arcade. Well, it sure is something. All right, let's go in here. Oh, that's oh, that, oh, flashlight. Oh no, oh no, I. Uh, I'll definitely say that uh, I uh, <laughs> uh, can tell this is <clears throat> unity, but that's fine. Let's not be judgmental, as I said. Joel, you've lost viewers for that bit. What me talking about Duke Nukem? Uh, Sucking the, the final boss's dick right off. Good. Good. If they can't if they can't handle good video game writing, then what are you doing here, man? <laughs> Viewers back. Okay. Let's see here. I like the arcade floor a lot too. Let's see here, uh... Hmm? Guys, I know there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, well... Do you think a new Duke Nukem game... Do you think if they reboot Duke Nukem... And make him like a wimp today, do you think it could work? Yeah. Like... Duke Nukem, but he's like... He's got a Jekyll and Hyde personality where, like, he has to chug gamer protein to, like, re-engage re his Duke Nukem side. Or else it's like, Tiny Duke. <laughs> I know. You gotta have Snusk powder, you know. That sounds awful. Yeah, it, it does. Okay. Got Outrun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> okay. Hey, speaking of Duke Nukem, I was gonna say, like, hey, we can play Airhawk and stuff. Alright. By the way, if you guys ever go to Japan and whenever this, this corona crap is over, uh, I gotta say, if you are not a big fan of, like, cigarette smoke, or, like, people smoking around you, you're gonna hate the arcades. Because I would say almost 45% of everybody that's in there has an ashtray next to their game. It's, it's a miracle they can't even play the games because it's, yeah, but it's it's a thick layer of smoke when you go into those. Um, and I'm sh I think there might be like non-smoking floors though, but, uh, you know. Sunset Drive out. I'm sorry that my my energy here tonight right now is is like I'm I'm slowly dissolving but it's it's 9 in the morning and I think me stream for 12 hours last night it it kind of fucked up my energy so I'm sorry for the uh half closed eyes on this usually my commentary is way more grating but you know Alright, anyway, let's see here. 
Maybe I should play the actual arcade games too. Let me let me head back. Can I play any of them? Or it not might, might not actually be that. What the hell were you doing for twelve hours, Joel? I, we did Amugus games. We did Diablo two and uh, did we do GTA? D did we? I, I don't even remember what I did. Oh my god, Goldeneye. Okay. <laughs> Well, then I don't remember. The old man, the old man is is you know losing it. So okay, let's see. Keys. I need a key. Okay. It must be so frustrating for a video game developer that if you're making a horror game, and the player misses obvious scares, like no, look this way. I was gonna say, what if there's a scare, and I'm like, I can't find my flashlight, and it's just like, no. Like, Dracula's sitting there going, blah, blah, and you're like, but fucking, I'm fumbling about, I can't fucking, you know. Oh, something like that had happened to to me, because it was like Halloween, we were kids in like 5th or 6th grade. And what, what the teacher would do, uh, this was like an annual thing, they would take and dim all the lights in the, um, in the PE hall. And the entirety of the class had to do like a conga line through darkness, and they had a, set up an obstacles course with like, you know, mattresses and stuff like that. And we had to like walk through, and there was like, you know, hands hanging, so we're like, oh my god, you know. The thing is, the thing about that though, I broke the lore of that game, because um, quite frankly, I'm like, I'm lost and I want out of here. So I, I let go of the person I held on to in the conga line, and I just started like walking on the walls, feeling where I was. And eventually, I found like the the locker room door because it was the. And I went in there, and the teacher was supposed to scare us and be like, "Boo!" And I'm like, "Hello." And they're like, "We're well, not supposed to be here." Yet. I'm like, "Oh, but I found the exit." It's like, "Okay." And I said goodbye, and that was it for the day. Well, blind. And I feel that that mentality has permeated a lot of my streams where I'm just like, oh, I was supposed to see that or, you know. It's locked. It's locked. Maybe I gotta use the key like I do this. Oh, okay. Maybe the green door goes to from green key. There we go. All right. Well. Well, now. Now do we get to play some arcade games, or what, what are we talking about here? Five thousand IQ. Hey, he's driving. Okay, that's locked. It's locked. Hmm. Arcades aren't scary until Sinister shows up and goes, I hunger! Run, run, run! One thing that kind of makes me laugh, I was thinking about this the other day, but like 80s arcade games often were really loud on purpose just to compete with the other uh, video game cabinets. To just um, grab your attention. And when you have like 5,000 arcades at once playing, it's just a cacophony of noise. It kind of reminds me of, like, Discord. If there's more than five or six people in the Discord, I immediately leave. Because it becomes who can be the loudest and talk over each other, and it's just like, I'm getting a migraine from being here. All right, so obviously this is the this is the bad one. Into three coins. All right, I ha I have three coins. I, I I have them. Be I gotta like do it here. Maybe I gotta crouch and do it. Okay, there we go. I'm ready. Level one. 
Oh, are we gonna go Mortis? So I'm the janitor, huh? I get it. There's a meta element going on, probably, huh? Phone games be like you. Well, I'm kicking ass so far, guys. <laughs> Alright. Man, I wish phone games had like games like this. Yeah. You know, I was talking about earlier about reading a, uh, like a journal in the game and something that goes on. Yeah, this game just did that kind of, and I, I, I really approve of that. Uh-oh. All right. Completely ignore the problem. Well, you know, it it is what it is. As long as I don't pay attention to the problem, you know, it's fine. Can't go there yet, huh? All right. Boil? What did I miss? It was something that, like, dropped. What? Do not plug. Do not play. Okay. Look up, Joel. Do not pl. Look up, Joe. Wait, what? In the game. Oh. <coughs> Sorry, it's getting a little late. Oh, that was that was astounding. That was. Wow, we. No power. Do not pee. Okay. Uh oh. Well, we gotta hit the breaker. All right. I see you. <laughs> well, this ain't good. No exit. Okay, I, see, I saw a red light in here. Uh, hold control. Wait, 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 wait. Who's talking to me? My god, it's a meta game. It's true. Not only is. Not only is this game meta with me playing the game inside the game, the viewers are playing me. And then the viewer is being played by the fact that they're watching this at five in the morning and they got stuff to do. It's always some person that's like, no, dude, I come from Moonland, and here we always have daytime. So, ha ha ha, you're you're the sucker, Joel. And I'll be like, damn. <laughs> I come from the country of Quark, and here it is always not gamer hours. So, shut up. <laughs> okay. There we go. <laughs> Captain Quarkland. There's some sounds going on here, and I, I don't know how I feel about them. All right. I guess we'll uh, uh, uh play us some more. 
was him all along, Joey. Okay, maybe we should investigate on the computer first. Oh, the computer isn't plugged in. Damn it, I can't go on GameFact and figure out how to play the game. Damn it, I'll never survive now. Hello? Welcome to my Game Facts. This game's super. Press W to walk. Goodbye. Big suck 69 hotmail. It's all in caps. Alright, oh yeah, we gotta put this in like this. Do not pl Office. We gotta clean. Oh, this is the office. I get it. I get it. Hmm. Kind of looks like Berserk a little bit. Mm -hmm. So what's really happening? Is it my soul that's walking around? Maybe the monster is the janitor. I, I don't know. Oh my. Okay, that, that is frightening as shit. I like that. He wants in. All right. Uh. Oh, I found more some coins. Actually, I, I would need more and more coin here. Yeah. Can I play it again, or am I supposed to get out of here at this point? I still locked. Maybe I'll play some pinball to calm down there. Hmm, maybe on the shelf. There we go. Alright. Well, let's see what let's see what we got. Still the gravy. Is the key still gonna be there though? Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Mm. Uh oh. No, no. Oh, I see. So there's a meta element to this that's like, it's the real, real, realness. The flashlight on. Manager's office. Great atmosphere so far, I gotta say though. I like this game way more than the uh, the last one we played. Uh, okay. Hmm. Maybe I at least take this off. Hey, this is getting a little spooky, I gotta say. I gotta say. Okay, well. But could you call this a PlayStation style, though? Because, like, I feel... At this point, again, this, this feels like a game that's just has a graphical filter on it that's just a unity horror game like i, I don't really make the connection to, to like playstation you know uh which is there were some problems with that last playstation demo collection but uh you know but it's i mean it's just good video games in general so i don't i don't mind it Do this yet, huh? I gotta be honest, this game does scare me because it's isolating. It's you in a big abandoned place, and there hasn't been like yet the shotgun. <laughs> like, I 
the idea of being alone in a big place like this, that that's scary, man, you know? I like that. Uh, I don't like that, but you know, for, for, for a car concept, it's pretty good. Okay, well, I guess we are checking the bathroom. <laughs> oh boy. Hide. Close the door. <laughs> what? All right, it's it's the guy. Oh, find another one. Nice. Well, I thought it was gonna go away. Uh, just, I don't know. All right, let's see if we can get some more more coins. Okay. Well. Interesting, interesting monster, I suppose. It's just a... It's like a big, big fuck. You are dead, dead, dead. Thought you were hot. Guess what? You're not. Okay. Hmm. Look at that burger. That's one. I never finished Total Distortion, but it's only because, that's also because, like, even though that game has a great aesthetic, it's not also, like, very much fun to play. Like, I, I like the game. I love the making little music videos and stuff like that, but it's, like, it's just so damn out there that it's just like, oh, my God, what is this game? But, uh, it's great, great soundtrack. <laughs> Somebody in the chat says, great soundtrack, shit gameplay. Not shit gameplay, it's more so... I wish the style wasn't everything, you know? <laughs> I thought you actually did beat Total Distortion, but got the worst score. Oh, yeah, I think we did. Yeah, we did beat it, but, like, I'm saying, like, if I did a complete playthrough of, like, every possible ending and stuff. It's kind of a scary game, because it's got a weird, weird atmosphere to it. Speaking of weird atmosphere, I kind of like the red light through windows and, and stuff like that. There used to be one of those like spooky spaghetti videos on YouTube a million years ago. I forgot what it was called. But there was a story about uh, a bunch of these videos about where the sun goes out. There's no more sun. And the protagonist of the story like trucks along. But at night time, like I think people started disappearing. And outside his window is just like a red light. I don't remember what that was, but, uh, you know, I like that idea. Kind of spooky. What if I hide in the, uh, the bathroom stall? Huh? Maybe I shouldn't have this on. When you walk in. All right. Close the door on him so he can't get out. All right. Oh, okay, so there's this something here as well. All right, here we go. Pretty long demo. It feels like I'm playing the whole game, actually. This is the demo? I was just realized, like, damn, this is pretty damn long. Miss Signal looking ass. 
You know what I really like? I like when new YouTube creators, um, like they show off new, uh, they show off super old, well-known glitches as like nobody's discovered it. It's like talking about Mario Two and saying it's hey, it's Donkey Donkey Picnic in 2021. We're saying like this creepy Pokemon glitch. You know, like you know, like what? And you know what the strange thing is? Some people like that because they, they, well, of course, there's going to be a new generation of people that, that are unaware. But I feel like uh, once a, a topic has been covered with enough YouTubers, like there's no need to make new topics. But I, I don't know, maybe. I don't know, man. Okay. Did you know that John Romero is the real final boss of Doom 2? Did you know that Mario's M on his hat stands for massive diarrhea? Okay, oh, I'm gonna go here. Last one. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, okay. That was it. That was it, everybody. Um, this one was alright. This one was alright. I, I think the best thing about this game was the use of lights and atmosphere. The creepiest part about this game was when that weird light was going through the uh, uh, not the windowsill, but, um, you know, the, uh, I think it's called, well, you know what I mean. And it was just, like, ominous, and, like, what is that? What is that? You know, and I, I like that. I like that. And I also kind of like the, uh, you were you were playing an arcade game that kind of bled into the uh, the world. So I, I, I see what the description was coming from. But uh, the blinds, yes. There we go. But the layout of the arcade game is the same as the arcade. Yeah, I saw that. But, uh. But that was good. That was good. I, I think that if we're going to rate the games that I played tonight in this collection, I uh, want to say this. From what I personally enjoyed, and I'm not talking about what represents horror the best or, or whatever, anything like that. What did I enjoy the most out of all these? Let me, I need to put this thing up. There we go. Well, I think personally, if we're going to talk, I thought that uh, Peeb's Adventure was overall the most entertaining. I would play that in a heartbeat, and I was actually quite sad that people were joking around that the, uh, the full game was released. So, uh, you know, but I really, really enjoyed that one. It was a very fun one. Uh, second game that I thought was pure horror and it was fantastic uh was walk walk was legitimately scary walk legitimately creeped me out because it was like where do i go what do i do what what is the restrictions of, of the of the game what can i do? what can i do and what can i do and it was the first playthrough and i just was like man this is this is really drawing me in you know but uh, i really enjoyed the atmosphere of this one and you know, uh, if anything, if any, there's any points to deduct from it or whatever, is that I, I felt, uh, I guess it's my own fault, really, for looking up the secret ending, but uh, at least the secret ending showed the ending of the game or what is intended to be, where you're playing, when you're walking in the forest and you're going up that tower and it's like, which is fine, but that game shined really well when it was just you walking in the abandoned streets and there's just this weird entity that you don't really get a glimpse of fully just walking slowly you know that is creepy that is really creepy because it builds atmosphere and it really sticks with you so i would say peeb was my favorite when it came to like a lot of things it wasn't the greatest horror game but still and second Walk, walks dev is the uh is finished but lives in tokyo it explains the cultural crisscross oh okay i see it, it, okay okay i get you 
I get you. But uh, yep. Yeah, so here's my my rating for tonight. From my most favorite to my least favorite. Peep, walk, Tori. <laughs> this game, Janitor Blades, and then the stealth game that I don't remember the name of. Sorry. <laughs> um, I definitely think that... Uh, oh, T-Mod. Oh, I forgot about T-Mod. T-Mod, I, I don't know how I feel about it, because, like, T-Mod is ambitious, and I like that. It's just... Um, it's a, it's a little messy, and I, I feel like actual creepy stuff could probably be better in... Actually be done in Gmod itself, on the base engine. So it's like... It's weird to demake a game that's already so contemporary, you know what I mean? Um, but I, I, I like the fact that it tried to do different things. But it was... I guess it was sort of too glitchy in a way, too. Like, going through the floor, and yeah, there was an element of, like, no clipping and stuff like that, but... Um, yeah, I would say this, uh, it's a tie for T-Mod and Janitor Bleeds. I don't know which one is better than the other, but, but maybe, maybe T-Mod is a little bit better than, uh, the Janitor Bleeds. I'm not sure. They're kind of tied for me, but, uh, yeah. Worse or better than a Chameleon? Well, um... Well, I don't know. Listen, my my big three here that is that is the greatest is Walk, Peeb, and and uh, Tori, because Tori just had a great aesthetic to it, really, and uh, and yeah. But uh, you only put Peep in number in number one because it's basically a spooky Vark Skelter fan game. Well. You're absolutely right. You know, I was really on the fence about the game prior to uh, seeing the Gingledoof reference. You know, but once I saw that that reference to me, I said, okay, you know, this game was... Mm. But that, that put me over the edge. <laughs> um, I don't know. But, uh, hey, listen, guys, everybody. That's a little bit of the spooky PlayStation 1 Horror Demo Disc Collection 2021. Next Saturday, we'll see. We'll do more of this stuff. I do want to tell them I'm playing them all. But uh, we played uh, with, your, with your help, chat. With your guidance. We managed to play a lot of them. That was really, really good. Really, really good. But right now, I am personally looking forward very much to Peeb's full release. And Walk, too. And, uh, again, Tori as well. But, uh, yeah. The, the, the Steam version of Tori 3D has a virus. <laughs> okay. Are you sure you... Are you using Norton? By the way, just 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 asking randomly. I'm just curious if you're using Norton antivirus. I mean, it's nothing to do with it. But I'm just curious. You can't hack me or nothing. I got Norton now. <coughs> Mom was a virus. Mom. Tori is best. And you can even play it and stream it now if you want, or even soon as it came out on Thursday. Yeah, for sure. We'll uh, we'll get on that. But right now, guys, I'm I'm going to do a classic Varg Skeletor crap move. I'm not going to stream Hitman too, because you can you can tell that I am just I'm very exhausted after all of that. And uh, I did stream yesterday for 12 hours, so it's understandable that I'm a little a little bit more. Uh, uh, cautious when it comes to trucking on but then again it's been four hours of streaming so it's also nine in the morning here so here's what we're gonna do if i stream tomorrow which a lot of people doubted that i would today after that stream yesterday uh if it is tomorrow that i stream uh it'll probably be hitman first and see what we got so yes but anyway regardless i want to say thank you so much for tuning in popping in and watching me play these haunted PlayStation 1 games. Definitely a lot of fun. 
I like them a lot. Uh, so yeah, uh, cool stuff, cool stuff. I like it. I like it a lot. You don't always say anything, you funny sweet man. Well, you say that, but you know how you know how it be. <laughs> All right. Well, here we go. We're gonna.